You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your weekly spoilers. This is five days worth of dated spoilers for your favorite CBS soap from Monday, July 24th through Friday, July 28th. We are so excited to share these with you. Lots of Phyllis, lots of Jack. We got some Summer in there. We've got some Adam and Victor controversy, of course. There is so much to unpack. All right, digging in on Monday, July 24th. It is season 50, episode 206, and we have Phyllis Summers starting her day out feeling pretty good because she's got Carson, the EMT, ready to tell some lies to swear that she was just a brainwashed, innocent victim of Jeremy Stark. But Carson goes missing. That's a little wild. Who would do that? I know one person who would, Diane Jenkins. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like, I'm not sure if it's Tucker, because he was lurking nearby in, in some potted plants, you know, as one does. So it's not clear. He may have heard Phyllis telling Heather that Tucker is blackmailing her. And so maybe he's done it, or maybe there's another person in play. Also on Monday, Jack wants Diane to, to play dirty again against Ashley with him, but she just doesn't want his family to blow up over her. So there's going to be several scenes on Monday showing the back and forth. We also have Abby offering to host and plan Ashley's wedding to Tucker. Abby is not a big fan of Ashley with Tucker. And you might remember long ago, Abby actually ran Tucker down. Uh, with her car. I think she might have been a little drunk. But um, at any rate, they're going to have it at the Chancellor Mansion. And after Ashley and Tucker leave, then Abby and Devon talk about maybe putting a ring on their fingers too. Kind of interesting. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless spoilers, updates, and more. All right, on to Tuesday, July 25th on YNR. It is episode 207 of the current season. And we have Victor Newman surprised Sally Spectra with what sounds like a pretty cushy job offer. He starts out the conversation by offering her condolences over the loss of her child. Then he he says what I believe is a big, fat, whopping, stinking lie. He says that when he offered to invest in a company, basically to give her a pile of money to leave her baby with Adam and go, he says it was just a test and she passed. I call huge shenanigans on that. But he wants to hire Sally and wants her to bring Chloe along for the ride to run this new division of Newman Design. And the conditions are that she has to work at Newman Tower. And it's clear he wants her under his thumb for some reason, but it's a really good offer. But I also bet Nick and Adam aren't going to like this. We see Jack getting a blast from his past. So he sees somebody from his past. We don't have any more news about that or who it might be, but we will definitely let you know as soon as we know. All right, Chance Chancellor suspects that Adam Newman is up to something also on Tuesday. Well, duh, Adam's always up to something, but I'm wondering if he's worried about Adam trying to get closer to Sharon now that they're all going to be working together. All right, midweek on Young and the Restless, Wednesday, July 26th, season 50, episode 2. 208. Jill needs Victor's advice. I wonder if this is going to be Jess Walton doing another of her video calls. That seems more likely because she's only, as far as we know, on one episode. And I, you know, I mean, I guess if she was in LA, she could stop by and shoot it, but she spends most of her time at her ranch in Oregon. So I suspect a video chat, which is how she often appears. So she needs Victor's advice and they end up striking a bargain, cutting a deal of sorts. We also have Audra Charles going overboard trying to impress Nick Newman, which seems strange because that's Summer's dad and she's banging Summer's estranged husband. So I feel like that's a Herculean task for her to impress Nick at all. Because if Nick doesn't already know she's banging Kyle, he'll find out soon. All right, we also have Billy Abbott disagreeing with Nate Hastings about something not clear what, not clear 
why those two are even having a conversation because Billy hates him for what he did to Chancellor Winters by spying for Victoria Newman. So I don't know. But maybe this is down to Nate's involvement with Victoria, Billy's ex. We shall see. Later in the week, it's Thursday, July 27th, episode 209 on Young and the Restless, and we see Billy with a new role to embrace. Diane has offered to quit the company just to try and stop Ashley's insane plotting. Jack didn't want her to. And then earlier in the week, they kind of have a a little family confrontation and Diane's just like, I'm out. And she walks away. So maybe Billy is going to have to do Diane's role too, or maybe this is something to do with his personal life and something with Chelsea Lawson. That'd be really cute, wouldn't it? We also see Phyllis getting some FaceTime with Jack Abbott, and that should be interesting. She's supposed to be on this apology tour and making amends. And with Carson, the EMT missing, she could be facing jail time. So I don't know if she's over there paying lip service or if she's worried that Tucker has Carson and is getting closer to Jack, which is what Tucker wanted her do to do. He wanted her to try and steal Jack from Diane. So if it is Tucker that is hijacked the EMT, then Phyllis will be deeper under his thumb. We also see Summer trying to warn Kyle about Audra. And I just can't imagine Kyle is going to give her the time of day because he speed walked away from her and into Audra's bed and Audra's actually been pretty transparent with him about the kind of person that she is so I don't think Summer has anything surprising to tell him. All right we also have Friday July 28th spoilers for Young and the Restless and then we've got a couple of sizzling hot undated spoilers that we're going to share with you as well. So on Friday episode 210 Billy's loyalty is tested again. It feels like at every turn Billy loyalty is being tested, whether it's Ashley trying to get him to turn on Jack, you know, Diane having conversations. It just feels like Billy is is working overtime to prove his loyalty to his big brother. We also see Adam very displeased when Victor decides to teach him a harsh lesson. So uh, who knows? I am just so tired of Victor letting Victoria get away with almost literal murder while just riding Adam like he is a, you know, one of those ride on ponies back in the day out in front of the drugstore. It's insane. We also see Diane's dream coming true. Are she and Jack going to have a quickie wedding? That'd be kind of sweet. All right, I've got two hot undated spoilers for you that I want to share. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our YNR updates. And if you enjoyed these weekly spoilers, please click like on the video. We appreciate that. All right, so the two undated spoilers... This is, these are spoilers that we were given as part of the two-week spoilers last week. So we knew that they were supposed to come this week, but then when we got the, the full roster of network spoilers, they weren't on the list. So I have to presume they are still happening, and they just left them off the dated list for whatever reason. One of them is that Lauren Fenmore completely snaps and loses it, and I have no doubt this is at her, her good friend Phyllis, who is still lying and denying and playing games. And we also see Audra takes note of another side to Kyle. So maybe she sees the ruthless side to him now that they are working together. I wonder if we're going to have some office scenes or if they're just going to stick to, you know, like Victoria and Nate do and do most of their business talk in the bedroom instead of the boardroom. All right. Don't miss any of your favorite CBS soap this week because it looks action packed. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 